affect much. Basically, if you are suspended on a PD character, a lot of shots going on out there, you could now continue to use cop prio to um, play that cop character while off duty. Uh oh, Chris Clowder, Perman. Beta, thank you for the 16th month three. So hopefully you're doing good. I, plan on, I was planning on hopping in uh guys Discord after this, by the way, but hopefully everything is good with you and the and the wife. Um and, and the reason was I I, I don't think this would have uh, this doesn't affect much, but a lot of things we hear is people really push back hard on suspensions because it's like the death of the character like it's purely a cop character uh maybe their prio is low or non-existent um you know that's what they're saying and so a 24-hour uh like ooc cop band suspension means they can't get on the server so this this uh just makes it so that isn't really like an argument they could use anymore, especially, you know, like finishing out their current play session, right? Like, let's say I'm a, I'm a once a week Andy, I get on and I, I want, I do like a, a solid eight hours, uh, a play session every week, right? On no pixel. Um, I get suspended halfway through, uh, you know, the play session yet, yeah, the four hour mark. Now, instead of having to like F8 quit, wait in the queue, wait to get back in, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Um, then I, I can now just continue to play that character off stream. Uh, not off stream. Sorry. Um, off duty. Sorry. With, with the even though I logged in on cop prio and not have to worry about that. Um, I, I mean, I never really suffered guilt to begin with. Like I, I on one hand, I understand the argument of uh, hey. Um, I, I don't have prio. I, I can't get on the server otherwise, blah, blah, blah. Like, I understand that, but then if, if I'm taking into a, an account, like an OOC reasoning when I'm punishing you, shouldn't you be taking like that OOC consideration and when you're doing the thing that got you suspended in the first place, right? Like it, it goes both ways, man. And, um, I think the reality is the the things that actually get you 24 hours suspended or three days suspended are are kind of few and far between like there there's a, a few circumstances here and there but chances are someone is not going to get suspended based off of a fuck up like if you make a mistake you might get punished for it, and maybe in some extreme circumstances they might get like a short suspension but Usually those aren't 24 hours. Also, kind of as I've, I've said in the past, uh, I, I think what Command Plus should be doing that I'm going to certainly start emphasizing is more in, in city suspension. So, you know, it's it's 4 a.m., 425 a.m. in role play right now. Like, hey, man, you, you know, uh, so-and-so, you've really fucked up. You know, come back at noon, right? And then that's seven and a half in city hours, which is only like, 50 minutes roughly you know give or take i i think that's fine it allows cops to rp more because the character can make mistakes if that's like a concern yeah it, it allows you to make more mistakes right um so that, that's like the first housekeeping thing uh the, the only way this would be considered like quote-unquote bad is if the number of PD slots is getting filled with those who do off-duty RP or those who are suspended and doing off-duty RP. And the reality is we're not suspending that many people at a single time, right? Like on most, like maybe max you'll get three people suspended, but that is like once in a blue moon. The reality is on average, there's less than one person suspended at, at a time, right? So that's not really a concern as far as like the the PD slot system is. You know what I'm saying? I I've not talked about it yet. XB. I wanted to get this out of the way first because it it was just a very minor announcement. Um. The next thing we're gonna talk about is well, okay. So a, a lot of people are are bringing up hot charges. So I'll I'll make that the next topic of conversation. So. There, there's a few um, 
cut changes and and kind of judge changes that went through that to streamline things a little bit that I think are good and bad or it it depends on the circumstances, right? Um So first off, let, let, let's go let's let's start with like a a good change that was made to help streamline the process. Uh for whatever reason and this may have been just how like no pixel judges were doing it because they they didn't really know or that's how they were they were told to do it. If you were someone who was doing a bail hearing, that conflicted you out of the main trial. So that's not it, we've been informed uh, by the more knowledgeable people that that is not something that happens in the real world. Apparently, I I guess I believe them, right? So now if you do a bail hearing, you are not going to be conflicted out of the bench trial. And that should really um, make it easy during these time slots when there's only one judge around, right? Like, let's say it's late in A, when, which is typically like Crane's territory. Then he he can safely take a bail hearing or and schedule a case on the back end. And that should really help with... Uh, with um like getting these these trials scheduled in, in a timely manner it'll help out the shift three judges a lot that's true now in the same token this is kind of what uh this is kind of like the main change that was announced in regards to huts like there was some times when um like people weren't really put uh let me, let me just scratch that like new new train of thought So I could collect my thoughts for a minute. Under the old system, so let's go over the old system real quick. You, what would happen is you would put someone in jail for a hut charge, so you would nines them, and then their lawyer, then charges would would have to go up on the docket, and then their lawyer could request a bail hearing. Um. Hang on, I got a Discord ping real quick. Let me make sure this is fine. Okay, so now, now there, uh, and so now, under this new system, uh, bail is going to be much easier, I guess, to get granted just in the form of a hearing being scheduled, right? Um. In the past, some judges might not take a bail hearing because they didn't want them to conflict it out. Well, now they don't have to worry about that, right? Um, I, I can't. I, I do the same thing when it comes to my investigations, right? Unless it, it is an extreme, like story-driven confliction, or you know, your your other characters involved in it, right? I don't really think conflicts should be a thing in no pixel law and what i mean by that is like the world we live in while it is getting bigger it's still quite small right as a cop you know you're you know especially if you're past right you're you're related to everyone you know what i'm saying um you know as a judge or as a, as a judge you might have your finger in a lot of like pies right yeah, uh, so if we had a pool of, I'm just going to throw out a hypothetical number here, 100 judges, then that's fine, right? Then you, you could easily, like, conflict one judge, get another. But when the reality is we only have nine judges on paper, some of which probably aren't as active as the others, then conflicting one judge out of it is a huge bottleneck, especially if that's only like one of two judges, let's say, in a particular um, time frame that, that kind of fits everyone needs. Uh, I, I don't know how many judges are active slash inactive or just kind of like chilling. Like that's that's not within my prerogative to know. But, you know, just something to keep in mind. What's this have to do with us? Well, it's, it's just general... Wait, what, what's this have to do with Hutt? Well, one of the reasons why Hut charges were a bit of a pressure point is because people were getting sent to jail and then no one was doing bail hearings on them because you did a bail hearing, that would conflict you out of the main case. 